rise royals all right let's go in and let's see what's going on inside of your twin flame connection all right if you're new here welcome i am goddess platinum and you have made it to the home of the twin flames okay i want to get started you guys um so this morning I was meditating and um, I clearly heard a masculine say, how long are you going to make me suffer? Okay, that was the message. Okay, so we're going to dive straight in. We are going to see who it is that we're connecting with. I'm not going to pull any... Um, any uh, sun moon or risings right now at this at this present moment but if i do come across that in the reading i will definitely point it out to you okay so let's see who it is that we are connecting with okay i want to get i want to get some um initials <laughs> okay enough okay so we'll go ahead and start off with look good news <laughs> is coming okay so I feel like you know even though this person you guys feel like they have been suffering right in silence maybe they have been suffering because you've been silent okay good news is coming in okay for this person or for this connection okay is what spirit is saying okay something about day of the dead is coming out okay i'm not sure if um somebody resonates with that okay we also have a sunflower okay beautiful sunflower out here we have the uh the symbol for um it's like the universal symbol. Okay. We have a starfish coming out. Okay. So definitely picking up like with some of this energy like beach vibes. Okay. Right. Look at that. <laughs> Not only did good news uh, come out, but this ladybug also symbolizes good luck. Okay. Okay more confirmation okay somebody knows that nobody can measure up to you okay and i feel like somebody's divine masculine is probably you know uh rides a motorcycle or a race car or something like that okay or they're into this type of thing so the letters that we have out here you guys and this could be uh first middle last initials this could be uh names cities states random words whatever just comes out you guys y'all know how, how i roll okay so we have u w okay we got m y p D, we got you again, B, R, A, Q, we got W again, we got P, J and K. Okay, so mm -hmm. what was I picking up? I was picking up um PJ BJ Okay um prayer why am I getting prayer? Mm -hmm. uh, I was picking up NYPD earlier. 
Okay. Um, barbecue. Mm hmm. Birthday. Happy birthday if your birthday is <laughs> coming or has passed recently. Okay. Uh, I'm getting doctor. Mm hmm. Okay. Mandy, Ryan, James, Peter, Brenda. Andrea, Keith, Yumi, okay? Those are all the names that I'm I'm seeing, okay? We're going to move these over here and we're going to dive into the reading. Uh, let's see what the situation was. That's what I want to know. I want to know what the situation was. Let's see. What's up, y'all? see you. <laughs> What's up? Let's go into the situation, Spirit. Give me the situation. What was the situation? Okay. What was the situation, Spirit? Thank you. Mm. Mm hmm. So clearly, you know, I see that this masculine was manifesting you and this situation, you and this connection in the past, right? See that they were coming in with, um, see, see the page of cups also talks about good news. That is so crazy, right? I feel like, um, you know, this is exactly what they were manifesting. They were manifest 717 on the clock. They were manifesting you. They were manifesting a connection like this. They were manifesting uh, having, you know, this fairy tale life with this fairy tale divine feminine. And I'm not saying that, you know, the Twin Flames is all about fairy tales. We already know that that's. <laughs> That is furthest from the truth, even though you can be in La La Land, okay? But it's not what it's all about. But I do feel like this person was looking for their perfect person, okay? Which was you. I do feel like this person, you know, they came in, you know, they had nothing but great things to say about you. Nothing but great things to... Um, you know, the, the experiences with this person was just absolutely amazing, right? Maybe they were actually a really great um, speaker when it came to expressing their feelings to you, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Give me some more energy. But I feel like this person... You know, once this manifestation came in, once you came in, they got cold feet. Yeah, they got cold feet. Heart was just a coming out of their chest, you know? <laughs> I just see like this, you know, this beating heart just beating and you know, it, it it starts off at a nice pace and then all of a sudden it just starts, you know, just beating even faster and faster and faster, you know, making this person extremely, extremely nervous, right? I'm not sure if your person sweats a lot, but I'm seeing someone sweating under their arms, um, on their forehead. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing that this person got cold feet. They got nervous, right? The situation was, it was just too much. It was too much for them. Ooh, okay. See, <laughs> the situation was they met an empress. You, divine feminine. They met an empress that was so divine, 
you know, that, that it really blew their mind. They, they couldn't even believe that they manifested someone like you, right? They did that. They didn't even 10, 10 on a clock. They didn't even realize how powerful, powerful they were, right? Now, for some of you, this person met you while you were pregnant, okay? And then for others of you, uh, you got pregnant by this divine masculine. Now, if you're not pregnant and pregnancy is not resonating with you, okay? This was this divine masculine seeing that they could really, really have something here with you. A family, right? The perfect person, the perfect life someone divine you know someone that is a nurturer someone that is tapped into their feelings someone that knows who they are okay i'm trying to tell you this really really <laughs> had your person's heart beating out of their chest okay so they manifested you here you are, showed up <laughs> in all your glory, <laughs> you know, looking absolutely amazing with this absolutely beautiful personality inside and out, right? Not only do you look good inside, but you look good, you know, on the outside as well, right? The Empress embodies all of the queens. You had all of these attributes about you. You know, and I just see this person going, how? <laughs> how did I actually whip this up? How did I do that? Right? And then here we go. You know, your person looking up going, hmm, am I really ready for this? Am I ready for this? I thought I was ready for this. Okay, they're looking up at the sky, seeing all kinds of, <laughs> seeing all kinds of doubt, right? But that was their own insecurities, okay? So, you know, in the past, this situation, this wasn't fair, okay? Mm-hmm. Justice is out here, you know, so I feel like either, um, you know, this was a very unfair situation for the both of you, right? Not just not just one, but the both of you. Um, I'm also feeling like uh, your person could work in some type of uh, legal system. Okay, they could wear a uniform. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, this person, you know, um, they want to make this right. Let's hop into the obstacle. So what is, what is the obstacle here, Spirit? What's blocking this connection from coming together? What's the obstacle? What's the obstacle? Ooh. <laughs> Honey, anytime I see this tower, right? I think about spirit. That's spirit is the obstacle. Spirit had to bring this down. Right? Something happened 1411 on the clock. Something happened extremely quick here. Right? As fast as this person manifested you into their life is as fast as spirit took you away because they weren't ready. They weren't ready. They weren't treating this connection fairly, okay, is what I'm hearing, right? So spirit had to come in and throw a shock factor in here, okay? Okay. And what I'm getting from this shock factor is like an awakening, okay? Spirit had to bring more awakening to your person with this tower. 
right? Some type of upheaval. Oh, okay. So what is the obstacle spirit? Okay, nine of wands. Nine of wands being your person wanting to give up. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Right? Your person not feeling good enough. Right? Your person saying, you know, um, I feel like I done fought and fought and fought for this connection. Because remember, the message was this morning is how long are you going to make me suffer? Okay? This is your person feeling like, you know, either they have been physically fighting for this connection. Okay? Or mentally fighting for this connection. Either way, you know, I feel like it's been extremely draining. Okay. 16, 16 on the clock. Right? But the most beautiful thing, you guys, like even though this can seem like an obstacle, right? I feel like um, it's a blessing in disguise because... When you think about the nine of wands, right? This is an energy of feeling like you've come so far and you just can't go no further. Like, I just want to give up, okay? I feel like that's definitely been an obstacle for your person. But like I said, the beautiful thing about the nine of wands is that the nine of wands don't give up, okay? So I do feel like there is some fight, <laughs> still left in your person okay mm -hmm. okay is there any more obstacles spirit is there any more obstacles i don't think i'm gonna uh, have this reading too long you guys because there's um the super bowl is today so i'm not sure how many of you are going to watch this video or be able to get to this video okay so here we have okay the page of pentacles mm -hmm. them wanting to offer you something but not taking the risk okay again the obstacle Right, the fool and the nine of wands is kind of giving me the same energy here when it comes to your person, you know, um, feeling like you want to give up, you know, and uh, not really taking the steps to do what you need to do to offer this pinnacle, right, to the divine feminine, okay. So let's hop into the solution. What's the solution here, Spirit? What's the solution? What is this person ultimately going to do? Okay, Ace of Wands. Ooh. Ooh, I might tap into this energy over on my Patreon. Wow. Okay, so still very very much attracted to you divine feminine okay <laughs> right energy of like oh there's no one like my divine feminine right an energy of keeping something ablaze here keeping something lit right still having that torch lit for you still having that desire for you okay I feel like that's the solution, you know, loving you unconditionally, no matter what. You loving your person unconditionally, unconditionally, right? What's the solution, Spirit? What's the solution? Give me a few more cards. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. What's the solution? Four of Cups right the solution spirit is like get off your ass 
That's the solution. Get off your butt. Do something about it. Right? We already see the fool out here. You wanting to. You ain't took the you ain't took the leap yet. You still on that cliff. Okay? We know you want to. You know, but you you have to get the confidence within yourself, divine masculine, to, you know, do something about this. Right? Get creative. Ace of Wands is out here, honey. Get creative. Give me one more card, spirit. Give me, thank you. Look at this. Solution. Eight of Wands. Okay? This is the solution. Spirit's like, okay, you need to start sending some type of messages. Right? Maybe this person needs to come your way. Maybe they need to travel. Right? Air. I'm here an airplane. Okay, that's the solution. Y'all need to talk about it. Y'all need to keep this thing, you know, keep that flame uh, sparked here, right? <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know why I just counted that and not. It's the eight of wands. <laughs> right, but maybe um, August, right? Yeah. August is significant here. You know, uh, maybe something can spark. Something can 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 really spark and, and, and light up your the both of your worlds in August, right? The summertime. Okay. What's the solution, spirit? Give me give me a card from this deck, please. What's the solution? right how long are you gonna let me suffer i really feel like that message is a question that your divine masculine has to ask themselves right it's not it's not you it's them right and so it's just like okay if you want to do something about it, you know you can do something about it. You can. You have the you have the ability to change anything in your life at any given time. What's the solution, spirit? Look at that. You got a yes. <laughs> Whatever that means for you, you got a yes. <laughs> okay can we get one more look at that spirit said trust okay that's beautiful all right you guys so i'm going to leave this reading here and i'm actually going to take this energy okay <laughs> this ace of wands because i want to see just how attracted they are to you okay so we're going to dive into your person's deepest and darkest fantasies over on patreon okay you want to meet me there go meet me there okay uh the link will be in the pinned comment below this video okay if you guys are looking for my royal attraction branklets for Valentine's Day. These are limited. I'm only going to have so many of these, okay? And then I won't be making them anymore. Go grab those on riseroyals.com. If you would like a personal reading with me, all my information will be in the description box below as well as the bio. I love you guys so, so much. It's your favorite goddess, Goddess Platinum, and I'm out.